System Configuration, Section 1, PC Settings. In this video, I will cover in detail first clay speed, then shot cloud zoom, and finally target delay and pause between targets. Clay speed. Clay speed is a feature used in the version 4 software that will allow you to slow the trajectory of the target down on the wall to as much as 10% of its normal speed, or it can go to 500% of its normal speed. Now the unique part about this is that the lead required on the target is always based upon the 100% or normal speed. Therefore, it makes it very easy for us to change and practice targets in slow motion, or if you choose, you can practice targets in faster than normal motion, and you're always dealing with the same lead. Shot Cloud Zoom. I'm going to begin the explanation of the purpose of Shot Cloud Zoom by starting with this picture that we're seeing on the computer screen, which shows a shot taken at 33 yards and the shot cloud zoom was set to 100. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change that setting to 300 inches and then we're going to take the shot again and I want you to see that on the second shot the shot is going to be much farther back in the distance. So I'm going to go up to setup, click on system configuration, I'm going to come into the shot cloud zoom window and type in 300 and then come down and click OK. Next I'm going to go ahead and use stop motion to put the target out there at 33 yards and I'm going to take another shot at it. Now you can see in this picture right here that the shot cloud and the clay are much farther away from your vantage point. And that really demonstrates the purpose of shot cloud zoom. The values that you can put into the shot cloud zoom window are as little as 36 inches, which will make the target very close to you, or as much as 500 inches away from you, and it'll be even farther into the distance than this one that we have on the screen right now. Target delay and pause between targets. Let's discuss the first one. What is minimum target delay for? It's to help you make your dry fire operate exactly like your system outdoors operates. So let's give an example. Suppose you're at the club and you're shooting on a Canterbury voice release system that's tied into a trap. When you call pull, you may not realize it, but Canterbury on purpose delays the release signal going into the trap house by one sixth of a second or 16 hundredths of a second. It does this because it tested people and found that the average person in the old days when someone would call pull, it would take the average person one sixth of a second to get the button pushed. So 16 hundredths of this point three out here represents duplicating the Canterbury system or duplicating how long it takes a person to push the button. Now the remaining 14 hundredths of a second in here is simply our estimation of once the trap thrower inside the trap house receives the signal to launch a target, how long does it take that target to get going? How long does it take it to get off of the arm of the trap? So we have 14 hundredths allowed in that, a total of three tenths of a second. So that means that indoors when you call pull for dry fire, when it hears you call pull, it purposely delays three tenths of a second before anything happens with our head and that matches everything that's going on at the gun club. There's a little bit more to this minimum target delay. If we click on all delays, we're going to find that there is another dialog box that opens up that not only has what we were talking about, the minimum target delay, but it also has a maximum target delay. And what this is for is if you are trying to teach somebody how to stay at home when they call pull and don't move their gun until they actually see the clay on the wall, then what you can do is come over here to this maximum delay and let's suppose that in the maximum delay I put three seconds. Now the way dry fire is going to work is on a random basis when you call pull the target will not be released in less than three tenths of a second 
but it may wait all the way up to three seconds before it releases the target. So in effect this gives you the capability of putting in a variable release delay and the purpose that I would use that for would be teaching somebody who has a tendency to call for a target and move their gun based upon the fact that they've called rather than seeing the target move either in the field or on the wall in dry fire. By using dry fire in this fashion you can help them to learn how to stay at home until they see something happening in front of them. And then the last portion on this particular dialog box is a duplication of what we see up here on the system configuration box. So if you'd like, you can always come to the configure delay dialog box and set in the three figures here that you want and then click OK. Now, I have not explained what would be the use for pause between targets. And this would be used mostly if you're using our acoustic release on your trigger mechanism. How you would use this is the following. If you leave zero in here and you're actually using the acoustic release, then what happens is you call pull, you shoot the target, and dry fire very quickly, probably within less than a half a second, gets back to home position, and immediately the voice release system is listening for you to call. And what are you doing because you need to cock your gun? You're cocking your gun and you're making noise, and the dry fire system hears that noise and releases another target. Now that's not a target that you wanted because it wasn't upon your voice command, it was because you were making noise. So an easy thing to do here then is to come into the pause between targets, highlight that, and for instance if you put in 3.0 seconds, then it modifies the way dry fire uses this delay and it would work in this fashion. You call pull, you shoot the target, the head very quickly moves back to home position, and then it enters into this three second delay and doesn't turn on the voice release system again until this three seconds is over with. In the meantime, you've cocked your gun, you've made all the noise, and you're ready. And so this allows you then to be able to use the acoustic release mechanism without releasing unwanted targets.